Good evening. Welcome to LA First Church of the Nazarene. This is your Simbang Pinoy annual New Year prayer and fasting day number four, January 4 to 8, 2021. Let's start with the reading of the word. Tonight is uh, January 7, Thursday. In Deuteronomy 32, verse 4, the rock, his work is perfect. All his ways are just, a faithful God without bias. He is righteous and true. The parable of the persistent widow, Luke chapter 18, verses 1 to 8. Now he told them a parable on the need for them to pray always and not give up. There was a judge in a certain town who didn't fear God or respect people. And a widow in the town kept coming to him saying, give me justice against my adversary. For a while he was unwilling, but later he said to himself, even though I don't fear God or respect people, yet because this widow keeps pestering me, I will give her justice so that she doesn't wear me out by her persistent coming. Then the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. Will not God grant justice to his elect who cry out to him day and night? Will he delay helping them? I tell you that he will swiftly grant them justice. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? Question. Minsan ba feeling mo hindi fair and just ang mga situation na kinilalagyan mo ngayon? But I would like to remind you that God is fair and just. So far for the past three nights, you've been able to see in Scripture how God is with you. And when you feel alone and how to walk through unfair circumstances with others. But when you are going through those moments of doubt, holding promises about who God is will be a vital to holding firm in the faith. When having doubts about God's fairness in a situation, we must remember what we read in the Bible about God's character. Deuteronomy 32.4 gives us a powerful and beautiful promise that God is fair and just and right, that all His ways are perfect. I'm reminded of the parable in Luke 18 of the persistent widow. She was a woman on her own in life, certainly marginalized as an elderly woman. <clears throat> she came to a judge that was not considered righteous to ask for justice against her adversary. The judge refused her the justice she sought, but time and again she came with her request. It was because of her persistence that the judge finally granted her the justice she sought. What Jesus reminds us after communicating the parable is so encouraging. And the Lord said, hear what the unrighteous judge says, and will not God give justice to his elect who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long over them? I tell you, he will give justice to them speedily. We can have confidence that our God is just, that he wants to respond on our behalf. We can have confidence that we serve a father who is good and perfect and longs to give good gifts to his children. I know your circumstances might seem unfair at times, but be assured that God will not let sin or injustice or unfairness stand. You might not see how he acts on your behalf, but know that he will. It's in his character to be just and stand for righteousness. Let us pray. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your righteousness. Thank you, Lord God, for teaching us tonight about your very beautiful character that is being just and being fair. Thank you for you are our righteous judge. Lord, we pray, continue to pray for COVID-19 that uh, he put an end to COVID-19. Help us, Lord God. We pray that uh, may we all uh, obey the guidelines of the government. We pray, Lord God, that uh, you heal all the people that are sick because of COVID-19. We pray for anxiety and depression, Lord God, that is uh, hovering around, Lord God, in this whole earth. We pray, Lord God, that uh, you bring forth peace, Lord, in the U.S. Capitol. May we pray for a smooth transition in the uh, presidency and vice presidency on January 20th. We pray, Lord God, for our denomination, Church of the Nazarene. Continue to bless our organization, Lord God, to make disciples of all nations. We pray, Lord God, for Los Angeles, First Filipino Church of the Nazarene, or LA Field NAS, our 2021 plans that would be cascaded on January 16. We pray, Lord God, that uh, may we execute only your plans, not our plans. We pray, we pray, Lord God, that you bless us, that uh, you bring forth soul, Lord God, in our church, and you help us to take care of them. Help us, Lord God, to uh, be harvesters, Lord God, of souls for you. Lord, we ask for complete healing for the following people, for Carney, for Betty, for Shella, for Chito, for Aryan, for Rachel. We thank you, Lord God, for Ron Eric, for the complete healing. We rejoice with uh, his family, Lord God. Lord, uh, we continue to pray for this coming Sunday that uh, you bless our service. We continue to pray, Lord God, as we start the new year. May all our people will be filled of hope and uh, encouragement. And um, may this year be a better year compared last year. We thank you for all for all the blessings. We thank you, Lord God, for all the blessings that you gave to us. We love you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Some announcements. We are continuing our January 4 to 8 annual five days of prayer and fasting, Monday to Friday night in devotion. If, uh, in case you need counseling, any prayer requests, look for Pastor Bert. For our online giving, type that Lee, search for LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. Our fellowship schedule are as follows uh, Wednesday, 7 p.m., walk through the Bible. Virtual Midweek Live, Facebook and YouTube. This will resume on January 13, 2021. Every Friday, 8 p.m., Bible Study and Prayer Party will resume on January 8, 2021. Every Sunday, 9 a.m., in person at Wiley Chapel. Virtual Worship Live, Facebook and YouTube. In case you wish to join us every, one, every Sunday, we encourage you to follow these guidelines for the best possible way to love others in your return to LA Fieldness Church. Please wear a mask. Seating will be limited and please sit with those you came to service with. Maintain physical distancing six feet apart from those who don't live within your household. Please keep three seats between households. Pick up communion, sermon notes, and drop off your tithes and offerings in the lobby prior to entering the worship center. If you are sick or have been exposed to someone who is sick, worship with us online. Kids, youth services will be temporarily put on hold. Allow me to bless you tonight. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. God bless you. Good day.